Hello friends, welcome to this course on HyperMesh. In this lecture, we will learn about the meshing of an assembly. So basically, we have assembly of sheet metal component. And this assembly has different components and those components have different thickness. So we will learn how to work with those type of component. So to understand this, I open up a file. So go to open. In your project file, go to the folder of mid surface weld and select this file that is mid surface weld and click on open. Now go to the shaded geometry and zoom in here. Now inside this geometry, we can see we have this type of component. So now I go to this component here. Here we can see we have mid surface 1, 2 and 3. So first of all, we will change the color of them. So hold down the control key, select all, select all the components and click on this color and select auto color. So now we can see we have three diff so now we can see we have three different components. So here in the type of display, I will select by component. Now inside this display, I turn on this point mode. We can see this is a thin plate while this is much more a thicker plate. So first of all, let me calculate the thickness of them. So to calculate the thickness of this sheet, what I can do is I zoom in here. See, I have a point here. So I go to F11 and go to this option of project point. I will select this point and select this point and then I will select a line. So I select this line. So basically with this option, this point will be projected onto this line. So with this method, we can calculate the thickness of the sheet. So press F4, go to two point here zoom out and then select the first node and select the second node here we can see the thickness of the sheet is 4 mm now i will go for this sheet and the thickness of the sheet is that is 6 mm similarly if i go to this bottom sheet i will see from this point up to this point this is 5 mm so all the three sheets have different thickness. So now we will learn. So how can we assemble them and how to do the meshing in these types of situations. So first of all, let's zoom out. So as we know, when we work in the sheet metal, we need to extract the mid surface. So I click on return and then go to geometry and go to mid surface. Here I will select all the surfaces. So select this surface, this surface and this surface and then click on extract. And then go to this middle surface, right click and click on isolate. Now we can see a mid surface has been generated. But there is one problem inside this mid surface. Here we can see between the two plates, there is a some gap. So it means the mid surface is not connected. Similarly, if I zoom out here, we can see these plates are not connected. Okay, so now we have to connect them. And also we can see here, this plate is not connected to the bottom plate. Okay, so now we will learn how can we connect them. So before that, what I do is I can create some component here. So I go to this component, see all these components contains the solid section. And what I want to do is I want to create separate component for the separate surfaces. Since all these three component have different thickness, so we will have to create the component of different thicknesses. So I can go to this component here, right, right click and click on create. And also I can go to this component here go to this component and then go to this create option and fill in all the options. We can also create the component here. So generally I prefer directly from this model tree because this is much faster method. So right click here onto this component and click on create. 
Now give it some name. So let's say I give it the name P shell. So this is a shell component and then underscore the thickness is 6 mm. So slide is 6. So I will create two more components. So slide is component. Right click and click on create. This is P shell thickness is 4. And then right click create. So P shell thickness is 5. Now basically what I do is I will assign the surfaces to the relevant component. So let's say for this outer surface I go to shift plus F11 shift plus F11 to organize and then here I will select surfaces destination is 4 let's say this is 4 mm. So basically this outside surface we know is of thickness 4 mm. So select all the surfaces and click on move and then turn off the surface. We know this surface is of thickness 6 mm. So here in the destination select 6 and select this surface and click on move and then turn off this. Select this surface and the thickness of this surface is 5 mm. So select is 5. Click on move. So basically with this creating the component we have properly organized the surfaces and when we have properly organized the surfaces it is much better and easier to create the mesh. So now turn on the surfaces and now we don't need this middle surface turn off this. So here we can see we have all these three surfaces. Now first thing we have to learn is how can we connect them. So basically when we have two component of different thickness and they are connected to each other. So let's say I turn on the solid geometry like this. So basically in the solid geometry we can see these are touching each other. But we but when we extract the mid surface I turn off this we can see these are not touching each other. In these types of situation we need to create some extra elements and those elements are called weld elements. The thickness of those elements is assigned with respect to the sheet of minimum thickness. So let's say this is the sheet of thickness 6 showing in this green color and the thickness of this blue color sheet is 4 mm. And now we can see these two are meeting at this point. So when I create the weld elements that will touch these two sheets the thickness of those element will be the minimum thickness of these two sheets. So that is the rule that is followed in the industries to create the weld elements. To create the weld elements first of all we will have to split the surfaces. Now to split the surfaces I turn on the topo here and then go to the surface edit. In the surface edit we need to go to trim with line and then go to surface. I select the surface and select the line here. So select line here select normal to surface and then the trimming line will be this line and click on trim. Similarly on to this side I will select this line I will select this surface and this line and trim. So basically it, this will be trimmed at perpendicular direction. So in a straight line. Similarly we have to trim with respect to this bottom surface also. So select this surface and with this line trim it. Similarly this bottom surface complete surface will be trimmed with respect to this outer line. Here we can see these two edges are also connected like this. So continue trimming them and then trim it. Now click on return. So now here we can see these two lines are not meeting. So I can go to F11 split using node to line. Select this node and select this line. Similarly here these two are not connecting. So select here to here. So in this way we have properly 
split the geometry now first of all we will have to create these weld elements so from here we will continue this in the next lecture